San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria announces his proposed budget for 2022. The pandemic having a major impact on sales tax this year, which does impact exactly how much money the city can spend. Our Jeff McAdam, he joins us live from City Hall to help break it down for us. Jeff. Hey Maria, yeah, no doubt about it. The city is short about $100 million of what we ha hope to have going into this year, though Mayor Gloria says there's ways of covering those losses. He also says he hopes to focus on a couple of key things with the money we do have. The city of San Diego has a sizable hole to dig out of. Amid a potentially subsiding pandemic that has devastated our local economy, our attention is now turning toward recovery, and this budget invests in that. The pandemic has limited business opportunities for the past year. Business, which brings in sales tax to be used in the general fund. Combined with tourism dollars, the city is out tens of millions. And while the state is planning on opening up the, the state's economy uh, on June 15th, reopening conferences and, and conventions are not anticipated to begin until perhaps the fall of this year. So we're projecting a slow growth in that. We hope we're wrong, but that's going to drive a lot of future decisions. But about 320 million incoming federal dollars will help bail us out. Mayor Gloria plans to spread that over the next three years to build momentum moving forward. This year, the overall budget is 4.6 billion, 1.7 billion of that in our general fund. Mayor Gloria aims to use 10 million on loans for small businesses and nonprofits in the hardest hit communities to give them a jump start. People like Juan Pablo Sanchez, who owns Super Casina in City Heights. This grant was not only a lifeline to keep our struggling business alive, it was also a boost in morale. And that sometimes is not enough, it's not talked about enough. And that's something that can never completely be measured. Mayor Gloria aims to reopen libraries only Tuesday through Saturday, saving the city $7 million. He also plans to cut police overtime pay by $4 million, all of which can be rolled into programs he feels are more effective, like crime prevention and homelessness, a problem impacting San Diego for decades. We're also investing over $10 million to provide immediate actions that will serve those in crisis on our streets today. This will support my outreach focused approach that aims to have social workers and behavioral health specialists be the first point of contact instead of our police officers. Yeah, again, this is just the proposed budget. Next up in May is when they'll have the next meeting. That's where the public can weigh in, give their thoughts on where some of this money should be spent in uh, the overall general fund. From downtown City Hall, Jeff McAdam, Fox 5 News. All right, Jeff, thank you for that.